Well, we have a lot of songs because uh, in the 90s we, we had a run of a lot of hits. Uh, so that's always a very difficult question because because I was actively involved in writing them that I can't really just choose one. I'd say that when we play live there's certain songs that we couldn't not play, you know, because the crowd would lynch us if we didn't play them. So there's songs like Chasing Rainbows and uh, Going for Gold that we can't not play and obviously they're very nice and special songs for us but, you know, I. I I don't really listen to Shed 7 when I'm at home, but if I did, I'd probably pick some less well-known songs because of the fact they're not so well-known, you know. Because you hear the, the well-known ones a lot because you're playing them a lot, you know. So there isn't really a particular song. They're all my babies. I think that will happen. I don't know when it'll happen, but I think there will become a time where, you know, I mean, right now this minute, or certainly last year, it was all very 80s. You know, the 80s fashion and music it all seemed to kind of come back again. So I think there will be a time where perhaps, maybe not just Britpop, but just, you know, 90s style sounds might come back again, yeah. Which would be pleasant for us, because we can just dive right back in there, can't we? Not particularly. I was hoping it would be more, really. I don't, uh, it's all Spandau Ballet, isn't it? Probably put your flat cap on, get your little whippet dog, eat a pie, you know, but I'd probably do that anyway, so. Every day is a Yorkshire day. <laughs>